so I spent uh, Christmas break rewriting uh, the uh, experience. Um, we, you know, when you when you came here, you you had to sign in. Uh, Developers.Vegas is not just a, a, a landing page and giving giving information. There's actually an app behind everything where you sign in, uh, and then uh, someone like myself or Andrew or Carlos or Chad, we actually manage. We have to manage uh, something. If, for example, uh, Adam says I I forgot my computer at home, I can't present, we have to take Adam off the list um, and that sort of thing. So there's this kind of management that needs to happen. We need to move people up and down. Uh, you know, someone says they're not ready. Uh, Adam said, oh, no, I found my com computer. Can I just go last? Okay, that's fine. So we can, we can manage it and that sort of thing. Um, and so what, I, what, what you see here, what I want to talk about today is uh, this, this alert that says changes made uh, but not saved. Um, so I can undo the changes with just a click of a button. Uh, you might, so what I want to talk about is how I did that. Uh, in React, um, th for me, I, I, I was being dumb. It was late. It was like late at night. I don't think straight. So I was like, I need to track every change that someone made so they can, they can roll it back. And I was like, no, if I really think about it, all I need to know is, because I, I, you can make bulk changes, right? You could like strike this person. You could you know, move Sunny down. You could, you could do all this stuff. You could shuffle the whole list if you want. Um, but you can undo and just snap it all back. So what I really needed was to make a uh, compare states. I needed diff states. Uh, instead of tracking each individual change, all I really needed to do was say, here was the initial state when the page loaded, and then here's the new state that you have, and what's the difference? And, and if there is a change um, and you want to undo it, just revert back to the initial state. Um, but what I learned is that you can't do that uh, the way a lot of people teach you to do that um, inside, you know, uh, with, with React State, uh, they, they might say something like dot, 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 this, dot, you know, to make a copy of a state, you would do this, right, like, like this, right, this would be your copy. Uh, you, would, you would use spread operators to, to do that. Uh, the problem is that's in JavaScript only making a shallow copy, and if you, if you shouldn't really have deeply nested state sometimes, but sometimes you do and you have to. Uh, and if that's the case, uh, the shallow copy is going to copy the references to all the original things. So when you make a change, it's changing the original thing, so you can't really do this undo function that you want. So you actually have to do something um, called, uh, you have to make your own uh, deep clone. Um, and I'm not making my own, I'm using Lodash. But, but an idea of what it does is that it converts the object, which could have multiple nested objects, into a string. That's one, this is one cheap way to do it. Convert it into a string and then parse it again. And then now it has no references. It's just a, a, an actual deep copy of the original thing. I'm using the Lodash library uh, clone deep because I already have Lodash in this project and it's extremely fast. And it does more than just what I, what I just said. My first thought, though, was uh, just JSON stringify, JSON parse. And I was like, that, that just seems kind of gross. Um, so using the Lodash library is how we do that. Uh, and so I have all, anytime you make a change, that's how you can diff when you have nested elements inside of something. Um, there's lots of ways to do this. Um, so there's, there's um, hitting save. I have other states that I have saved, but remember to select a featured presentation. Um, today's featured presentation is actually going to go to Sunny. So I can do that. Changes made, but not undo. Save. Okay, there, everything's saved. All right, that's my presentation. Thank you very much. Yeah.